Hello my Vim friends. Today I want to show you how to execute terminal commands from Vim. But before I do that, I want to show you the read tool. So if we go to help for read, we can see what it is. And basically what it is, is it, it is going to open a file, read its contents and import it in your current buffer. So um, let's say I have a buffer with some content already and I don't want to open a new file, I just want to import its contents into my current buffer. That's when I would use read. So I can do R, uh, which is a shorthand for read. And let's say tmux, okay. So as you can see, I've just imported the contents of some file into my existing buffer, okay. Now the second thing I wanna show you is how to execute terminal commands. Uh, for instance, I believe all of you know git, uh, so the way I can do is use the exclamation mark and then type the whatever I would type in terminal um, as usual, so git status for example. And what this will do is it will prompt me the output uh, outside of Vim and when I, when I hit enter it puts me back into Vim which is pretty cool. Now you can you never have to leave Vim, you can always execute terminal commands from it and it's really nice. Now, let's combine the two, the reading and the execution of terminal commands into one. Here's the trick. What if you want to get the output instead of going out of Vim and getting the output there, what if you want to import it in your buffer using read? Well, you can do that. So, let's, let's say for example we want to execute the tree command to see what's in our uh, current directory. We do read uh, exclamation point three and bam. So if we did just tree, we would be redirected outside, but this way we've, Im we've imported the output of that program into our Vim buffer, which is pretty cool. Um, let's do one more. For example, uh, with read, you don't necessarily have to do it at the cursor. You can give it the number on which line you want to do it, like 32 or something. Okay, let's say I want to do it where the cursor it is minus 8. Read. Um, let's see what platform I'm, I'm on. Okay, so this is uh, how you execute commands uh, in Vim. Thank you for watching.